Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies and your second reading of the day. We're dealing with blocks today and we were talking about the Prince of Pentacles and how he can get you stuck in details. In other words, the details of maybe just being too much of a homebody or just not really wanting to engage anymore. We've been through quite a bit in the last couple of years and even though in the last year things have opened up and we've been more out there we may be still getting caught in that um, comfortable stage of, you know, just doing our thing and not really expanding ourselves. And this year is all about expansion. So they're going to be pushing for it. So the card of the experimenter came in and it's, I'm strong and secure enough to experience, experiment as I see fit. And it talks about this youth, this young one here, about being a left-handed um um, somebody who, who, who shoots the bow with his left hand, who's not really showing any signs of, you know, what gender he is, and, and of, of trying new things in a very bold way. I feel that this card, though, however, the most important part of this in what I could read is most of our lives are spent trying to build things up or to make them last. However, there comes a time when the old ways of doing things become counterproductive. Sometimes instability can lead to inventiveness, okay? And that's the, the three sentences in there that really spoke to me of, well, sometimes it's good to shake up the boat, okay, a little bit, to see if you shake the tree, what kind of fruit will fall out. Um, it's all well and fine to, to be well where you are, there's nothing wrong with it. But we need to balance that out with each other. We need to, um, you know, go from one to the other. Sometimes when we need to rest, it's good to have a sanctuary and a home. But every once in a while, we need to just, like, go out there and see what else is out there, right? Life is not life without its challenges, its obstacles, and even its, um, its experiences and adventures is more... The words that I like to use here. So we're going to look at Mr. Experimenter, somebody, Mr. or Mrs., and, and see what they have to offer here. I'm going to use the energies, the seven energies oracle. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you, Spirit. Look at that. A powerful move. In other words, it's a powerful move to get out of where you're stuck, right? It's all playing chess. It's all unlocking doors. And then you have the beautiful uncaging. So, in other words... Let yourself out of the cage, Pisces. Absolutely. Time to experiment. Time to go see life. And you have six and you have five. So five and six, beautiful. See? You have 14 and 15, so it's it's in order. It's like one, two, three. And if you look, this is 23, five. One plus four is five. Again, synchronicity, okay? Experiment with your life and cage your life. Get yourself out of the stuck. So, a little bit of experimenting. Try food that you've been curious to see, but a little trepidatious, okay? See how it tastes. Let it, you know, dance on your tongue and the flavors and the newness of it. Take you by surprise. Um... I know. Meet up with somebody that somebody's been wanting you to meet up with. You know, you can always decide that it's not for you. But even if it's not for you, Pisces, you still get part of that experience. You're still, like, having a moment, right? Even if you go out and sit with somebody and go, Oh, God, that was awful. 
you could still take something from the restaurant you went to or the place you, you sat in, the coffee shop, the person, their, the way they looked, what you did like about them, um, why it wasn't. I mean, there's so much to unpack in every single. Sometimes we say no to something, but then don't look further than that. And all this week, I feel they're saying, look at everything in your life, regardless of if it becomes a part of it or not, as the whole package. Because in the nose, sometimes you have some great ideas. If you hear banging in the background, it's my younger son cutting, chopping wood. <laughs> seven of emotions, the seven of cups, all the choices coming in. The knight of emotion, knight of cups, yeah. That goes like this. Let me see here. Six. Transformation. All right. The Hierophant. The Two. The Two of Wands. Been coming out a lot this week. A lot of contemplation about doing something different, right? The Hermit as well has been coming out a lot. Emperor, here's again. And the Five, this is in reverse. So the Five of Materials, I feel this saying like, okay, the end of like keeping yourself away from things, away from people. Absolutely. Opening up to choices. And opening yourself up to other people so that you don't, you're, you realize you really truly are never alone. Okay? Even if it's people, like I said, you go out to coffee, let's say, I go out to coffee, I'm out of the dating scene. But I go out to coffee because I am in the dating scene. This is just an example. And I realize, no, I don't, I'm not interested in this person. But there's certain things that I like about them because either they're a different culture than me or they come from a different town than I do or they have a different hair color than I do. You know, take the differences and just uh, admire them. Um, see, how that's, see how that plays with you. What happens to it? What kind of coffee did they take? Was that an interesting choice? How did they hold their hands together? Non-judgmental. Just an observer of other people, of, of other things, right? There's so many more choices, okay? There's so many more things. I mean, I could give you a million examples, right down to getting businesses, business ideas by somebody's reaction or um, something that they lacked when they met you that you realize, hey, you know, like... Um, Okay, example, you go to a coffee shop, and uh, let's say I'm dating another woman. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I, I, I'm married to a guy, but it doesn't matter. Well, okay, play along. I'm, I'm, I'm with another woman, or I could say another man, and uh, they don't know where to put their... The date completely goes ridiculous, but um, they didn't know where to put their purse, or their man purse, or whatever you want to call it. And... You're thinking to yourself, the whole time they were looking at where to put it. And then I realized I could fashion a hook that goes underneath the table. And then people could just hook their stuff under the table, out of the way. They didn't have to put it in the chair, they didn't have to, and it's by their legs so it feels more um, secure. Something like that, okay? And yeah, you're welcome. Somebody, somebody do that. Um... Or, or capitalize on it. This was from a date that I have of a person that I'm never going to see again, but because of what they did, I had an idea. Okay, so I'm telling you, it's time for you to go out and live. I know it's ridiculous, this example, but they wouldn't give it to me if it wasn't important. There is so many different aspects that you're looking at. It's not just the outing. It's not just a relationship that could have happened. There's so much that you can observe and it ends up opening um, a ton of doors. It makes you feel like you're connected back to the world, okay? And it gives you that rise of emotion, that night of emotion. He's the one who has those intense emotion. 
that intense emotion that you need when you meet somebody for the first time and you really click with them, you know, it's an attraction. It's sometimes lust. It's not always love because that, that grows, that bond grows. At the beginning, it's like a mutual attraction and you kind of cement it. That's that rise of emotion. If you suddenly have an idea that you're passionate about, there's a rise of emotion. So all of this happens and you get inspired. You have the six of inspiration. You get inspired to put these things forward. To um, You get the confidence to start doing what you want, right? And it brings in transformation. So all this row here is about feeding that energy. It is. It's about feeding that energy, right? But some of you, like, I feel, because this is block, of course, right? Some of you are going, but I feel so good. I feel so good just sitting here contemplated, okay? The upside is that I don't have to put up with anybody. I don't have to be in conflict with anybody. I don't have to have, like, a, a fight with anybody. I don't have to, you know, ugh, you know, just always being irritable or, or put up with stuff. And I'm just happy being my, like, you know, my Hierophant. I thought it was the Hermit, but it's not. The Hermit's right here. But it's kind of the same energy, right? Sitting on your mountain, really big. Everybody's just kind of, you know, small and over there. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting my thing, and it's good. And uh, I'll just sit here and, you know, contemplate on what I want to do. I'm going to look into the future. They're telling you it's time to go past that. It's time to step into it. Actually, yeah, it is time to step into it. Okay, you don't need any more. You've done a lot of hermiting, and you have the emperor. You have a lot of that stability within you. It's not always easy to leave out of it, but you need to start reconnecting with people because this is reconnection. Okay, in this way, it's disconnection. In this way, you need to reconnect. You need to reach out. See that hand? It's reaching out. You need to reach out. Reach out and touch somebody. Yeah, that, that. You need to be of this world. You can't keep hiding away from the world. You need to uncage yourself. You need to do that powerful move. Mm -hmm. That chess piece. It's your turn. It's your turn to move the chess piece on the board. Okay. It's a balance. One player plays, and then you play, and then they play, and then you play. You can't just always have the other person playing and you just bowing out here in case of conflicts, always contemplating and going, no, I'm just going to hide out in the hierophant, you know, like, I know what I know. You're the teacher, but you're also the student. You have to remember that you are the student in this position. You have great knowledge but you still have a lot to learn and that's the way your life will remain because the teacher has something that he has and it's an ego I watched somebody yesterday who said they were going to use their gifts for money I actually fell upon this random channel and I always think oh here we go there's another message um, on this random channel of somebody who said that they they got the gift of mediumship. That's the one where they're talking to people who have passed, right? And she wanted to teach it, but she called herself a medium after, you know, a year or so. She was like, yes, I'm going to be a medium. Am I going to do? And I'm going to make money and I'm going to... And it was all, she said it was all ego driven. And she found herself with no clients and the gift kind of almost receded because she was doing for ego and money and stature. And I, the thing about that is, is that you have to go out there and doing, do it for your passion. You have to do it for your passion. And I was going with the hierophant here, okay? As soon as you stop being the student like she was, oh, I'm learning to be medium and constantly learning, and you, you um, call yourself the expert, the know-it-all, you know, the, I know all of this, I've now mastered it. Um, it's almost like you close a door on experimenting and experience, right? I'm comfortable 
I know I don't like outside, I'm not going to go outside. I know what I know. This is, this sounds like every um, old man that I knew in my life as a kid. I know everything. Listen to me, young child. <laughs> it's that Hierophant card, right? It's letting you know that I have, you have nothing to teach me ever. I know everything. And that's a trap right here. I know I'm comfortable at home. I have nothing else to learn out there. That's a trap. So, I said all of that to do all of that. So many examples today. But just want you to go out there. Do a little bit, okay? Spirit says, just a little bit. You don't have to, like, go out and go hand gliding at the first call. You can start with just trying a different piece of cheese, okay? Like, it doesn't matter. Just try something today that you didn't do yesterday. And then do it again tomorrow, okay? Bring back the balance between the stagnancy, the move, not moving forward, always being contemplating in details, and trying something a little different, okay? And, and yeah, if you're going to try new food, just try a little bit at a time, a tiny bit, okay? Make sure you're not allergic. I always do that. I am very cautious, you guys. But I still try new things, okay? When trying new products, I rub it on the skin. I take a little tiny bite, make sure, okay? Yeah, I carry all of the stuff that I need to in case I have reactions. But if it's a go, oh my God, is it ever a go? And I try. And then I'll do more and more, okay? You can still be cautious and try new things. Be cautious and try new things. I know. I know. This is too much. But some of you really needed to hear this. Some of you are going, Good, Jane, this is ridiculous. I try new stuff every day. It's okay. It's not for you. But just know, by listening to this, that you're on the right track. You're balancing yourself out. Okay? All right, Pisces, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to send you love, light, and blessings. And tomorrow we're going to see how the past is affecting you. Innovation is the word of the week. Be innovative. Try new things. Take care of yourself. Bye for now.